guys, this is Babies with Rabies here, and I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of user account controls, or, or more commonly known as getting rid of System Error 5 and Command Prompt. So in a lot of the beginner hacking tutorials that are on the internet, it's mostly stuff with Command Prompt. And one of the problems that people seem to be having is getting System Error 5. So let me just show you how. So um, Command Prompt you can get to a lot of different ways. Um, but if it it could be blocked at school, and if it is, then you have to make a BAT file. If you don't know, know how, then just click, then just look it up. Look up how to um, I don't know how to unblock command prompt at school. Do something like that. Okay, so so you got to get to command prompt, and so there's a lot of cool things you can do here. So most most of the time, people have just looked at a video and saw all the cool commands, but then none of them work, and that's because user account controls is on. So let me real quick show you what I mean. This is my username. Hit that little asterisk and it's to change password. So type this password. And look what happens there. System error 5 has occurred. And I'm even an administrator, so this happens to even administrators. Okay, so what you need to do, and the, but the bad part about this is that school, if you're trying to do this, you have to be an admin. You have to have administrator privileges to, to be able to turn it off. So that's that's definitely a hard thing to do. It's because you'd have to bring a sniffer to school. You'd have to do a lot of different things, a lot, of, a lot more advanced hacking tools, mostly. So, but if you do have admin password already, what you can do is you click here on your folder, and you go to change user account control settings and it'll get rid of those little notifications too it'll just update automatically and stuff so when you go to it's set to always notify if you're if you're getting that message it's most likely set up here I'm not sure about this one but I just always set it to never notify and it won't block you out of anything like that I'll tell it to say yes and then you have to restart your computer to turn it off so that's kind of annoying but it's what you have to do Okay guys, this has been Babies of the Rabies with the tutorial, and I'll see you guys